the world's fastest kickoff now even faster. Not exactly, it's the same speed technically, but it is better against some opponents due to the way you can contact the ball. It works versus Grand Champs and is at least probably 100% cooler according to a study held by me. So what's going on here? Well, recently I showed the internet my newer version of the speed flip kickoff and a lot of people loved it and wanted me to make a tutorial. So I've taken the time to do just that. For around two years now, I've been speed flipping into the ball, scoring before they even have a chance to get a touch. But it got better. I discovered something quite interesting that I'm going to share with you today. It is possible to pull off a wave dash after speed flipping, all in one smooth motion. So let's have a look how it's done. There's two mechanics you need to master to pull this off correctly. A speed flip, and then a wave dash. If you don't already know how to do a speed flip kickoff, I'll cover it in this video, so don't worry. But if you're already familiar with speed flip kickoffs, although I might have an easier way for you, I'll put something on screen so you can skip ahead. I'll also briefly be covering the wave dash, because you'll need a basic understanding of that to be able to pull this off correctly. A speed flip is the fastest way to hit supersonic in Rocket League. It allows you to do a diagonal forwards dodge while boosting forwards the whole time by keeping the back of your car facing, well, backwards. So all that thrust gives you a good push in the whole duration of the flip. How does it work? I hear all 10 of my viewers screaming. It's actually fairly simple and is referred to as dodge cancelling. You can do a flip in any direction and then cancel it by pushing your thumbstick in the opposite direction right after you dodge. For keyboard players, I guess you push your fingers onto the uh, go the other way key on your epic gamer RGB keyboard. It is important that you set your lights to pink for this to work correctly. I'm joking, of course. I'll try to explain the keyboard controls in a moment from some things that I've read. For example, a forward cancel would be as follows. Push stick up, dodge forwards, then pull stick down to cancel, as you can see in this clip. So how does this differ from a speed flip? Well, instead of dodging forwards, you need to dodge diagonally and cancel that, as you can see here. The stick goes from 1 o'clock to 7 o'clock, Forward momentum is gained from the dodge, but boost can be used to gain momentum the whole duration of the flip. Voila, one speedy boy straight to supersonic with just one flip. But there's a trick, a gift given by Cyanix Devon from Reddit to the community to make their lives so much easier. Okay, it probably wasn't him, but he's the only Cyanix staff member I know, so let's give him our thanks. Instead of having to move your stick all the way around from 1 o'clock to 7 o'clock, you can actually just move it from 1 to 5 o'clock and still get the same speed. It feels easier for me because you don't have to move your stick as far, but feel free to do either of these methods. They both work the same. And for reference, it definitely is just as fast. You can see it working here on Musty's popular speed flip training pack. I'll put a link to it in the description. I'm just using this as a benchmark as it's well known. Musty did not actually invent or discover the speed flip first. I believe that was done by Halfway Dead on Rocket Science. And he was by far not the first person to be using it in a kickoff. I believe that was actually me. So what about the wave dash? It's much simpler, and I've actually even taught it to bronze players in 5 minutes, so you've no excuse. All you need to do is jump, air roll, and land on two wheels, then dodge to the opposite side while holding power slide. So if I land on my right wheels, I dodge left while holding power slide. Easy enough. The tricky part is bringing all this together. We need to go from a speed flip to two wheels into a wave dash and line it all up so the dash lifts the ball over our opponent. Now, how do you get these two mechanics to work together in one swift motion? It's very similar to how you would chain wave dashes. I think this is called a squishy shuffle. You basically wave dash and jump as soon as you dash, still holding power slide, and then air roll to the other side, so your car sort of wobbles onto each side. Learning this will make it a lot easier. I would recommend doing that before trying to bring it all together. Uh, it'll really give you a good feel for how to transition from the speed flip into the wave dash. As soon as you land a speed flip, you can do the same. Holding power slide, jump and air roll your car onto one side, then dash the opposite way. I've tried to slow this down so you can see, although the hand movements are quite fast so it may take some practice. To do a normal speed flip kickoff, you would turn slightly towards the ball, speed flip the opposite direction, and try to land just at the ball to pop it up. The difference with a speed flip kickoff with a wave dash is, you need to land slightly before the ball, 
so you have enough room to jump while holding power slide, air roll onto two wheels, and then dash under the ball. So you begin the kickoff, you steer very slightly away from the ball, you speed flip towards the ball, leaving enough space for a dash at the end. And if you made it this far, congratulations. This video took a crazy amount of time to make, as my four-year-old laptop just wasn't designed for this kind of thing. I think the editing software crashed at least 20 times, so if you learned anything or enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you know anyone who's into Rocket League that would be interested in this, please send it their way. I'd love to hit 100 subs, so if you aren't already, please consider subscribing. If there's anything you'd like a tutorial on in the future, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.